Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. You just picked up your spanky new electric vehicle. You're heading out on the open road and you're having trouble finding a charger. You find one. It's behind a building in a parking lot. It's a slow charger. There's no squeegee to clean the windows, no washroom, and no place to hide from the storm. Electric Autonomy Canada wants to change all that. They know EV drivers have much different needs. So they put up $40,000 and held an international design competition to find the ultimate electric vehicle fueling station of the future. Hello, I'm Alana Weitzman, VP of Strategic Development, Clean Transportation at Electric Autonomy Canada. And we are a news platform that is focused on accelerating the transition to cleaner, safer, and more affordable transportation. It is called the Electric Fueling Station of the Future Design Competition. We put the call out to architects and designers worldwide to send in their ideas for what a recharging station on the highways of Canada could look like in the future. One of the biggest issues to EV adoption is range anxiety. It is a fact that after driving 400 kilometers, everyone needs to rest. And so we had this idea that you not only need to recharge your car, but you also need to recharge yourself. And um, so we wanted to showcase the differences between gas refueling and electric refueling and how that can be a positive experience. The competition was a big hit. Electric Autonomy Canada received more than 100 entries from architects all over the world. The winner picks up a $25,000 prize. The winner is an architect based in Edinburgh, Scotland, named James Sylvester. And his design is called More With Less. It's absolutely beautiful. I think that's the first thing you notice um, when you imagine this station being built, that you will pull up to this curvilinear timber structure that is punctuated with courtyards. Picture a beautiful oblong modular structure in which a variety of facilities can be inserted. You can insert a cafe in there. You can insert an arcade in there for the kids. You can insert these beautiful gardened lounge areas where you can catch up on uh, work or stream a movie. And right around the perimeter of the station, are all the um, parking areas with EV charging. You move from a focus on the vehicle to a focus on the human being. When you have 20 or 40 minutes to recharge a car instead of three or five minutes at a gas pump, it uh, really becomes a break on the journey. Second prize was a Turkish architecture firm called Fabrica Architects. It's called The Circle. And uh, if, you ha- if you can see the picture, you'll see why. It's glorious. It's this giant circular wooden canopy that is uh, tilted on an angle and has a green roof and solar panels. And nested underneath the circle are the pavilions. So retail zones, washrooms, those kinds of facilities. The designs were so amazing that the competition sponsor Parkland, known for its ESO, Fast Gas and On The Run brands, is going to build the winning design in British Columbia. You can check out the amazing designs at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.